Denver Rescue Mission provides more than 800,000 meals and support services for men and women each year, and they need your help this Thanksgiving with their annual turkey drive. Kevin Baker, food services manager at the Denver Rescue Mission, is here with all the great details and a recipe that you can try at home. Cheesecake, cheesecake, cheesecake. Yeah, love it's it. Great. And these yeah. are no bake cheesecakes. Yeah, all of these are all no bake cheesecakes. They're all very simple to make. Um, what I'm going to bake here to, or make here today is just something so simple. Because you know, if you're at home, you're hosting Thanksgiving. You're you've got all the family and friends and everybody coming in. The last thing you want to really worry about is cheesecake. That's right. So, so no uh, bake. a dessert. So this is a something that's going to be ready in less than two minutes. All right, let's get started. Yeah. How do we do this? Okay, so we're going to use um, we're kind of, yeah we're using a no bake cheesecake already uh, filler. Okay. And um, so we just kind of do a little bit, you know, a couple of a couple of spatulas, a couple of spoonfuls of it. Um, it's just plain cheesecake filler. Then we also have a pumpkin spice Ooh, cheesecake yeah. spread. It's um, quite honestly, it's Philadelphia cheesecake, uh, the spread that you would get for your bagels or something okay. like that. And um, just mix that together. I like to make it a little bit more flavorful. And so I'll put in just a, a little bit of cinnamon. Okay. Oh yeah, we love the cinnamon in there. Um, to really give it the pumpkin spice or the pumpkin pie flavor, a some pumpkin spice. What and can I use to start stirring here? Um, one of these? This one okay. right here. You start. And, and you just start stirring away. Okay. And then we're going to put just a little bit of vanilla in there just to kind of give it a little sweet and sweeter I love taste. Vanilla. And that's going to do it. Okay. We'll just mix it up if you, you, if go you right don't ahead. mind. I'll Absolute mix it up. You drive. And so what I have over here are multiple flavors of the same. Uh, cheesecake here. We have pumpkin. Okay. We have um, a honey and brown sugar. That's we have like a honey. Pe yep. And then okay. we have a honey pecan, which is right here. Nice. Yeah. And the honey are using real honey in there. Then? Yes. And so you've got some mm -hmm. real, real good flavors and natural sweetness in there. Yes. Mm. And there's no sugar added in any of these. I mean, which is kind of a, a misnomer because people think, oh, well, there's no sugar in it. No, it's just there's no sugar, no additional sugars added, added to it. To it. And then, while you're you're gonna yeah, scoop go that into, I'm gonna keep asking you questions. Absolutely. So this uh, this great banquet, this Thanksgiving mm -hmm. banquet, is part of your annual turkey drive, isn't yes, it? Yes, yeah, it so is. Tell us about the annual turkey drive. Well, the annual turkey drive is every year we are looking for um, we're trying to serve meals to the community, to the homeless, and to the people that are just honestly hungry. So um, we serve. Um, we start taking donations for turkeys, which we've already started taking right now. Okay. Um, we're in the process of looking for uh, multiple turkeys. We, um, at our great Thanksgiving banquet at our Lawrence Street Community Center, we're gonna serve about 75 turkeys right there, just for that one particular meal. Then um, we're also gonna give them out to different people in the communities, different volunteer organizations. But our whole goal is between now and Christmas time to serve, um, 200,000 meals to the homeless and, wow. and uh, the hungry. That's incredible. And you were saying that you've already started taking turkeys as donations. Yes. So how can we donate a turkey? Well, we have this great new um, text to text for turkey, which is great. pretty exciting. Um, you text 24365, 24, you know, yeah. I, I remember it, 24365. Um, we're, we're looking at with the text for turkey, you know, we think $20 equals one turkey. Um, but it, let's say that you and your family like to come to the Denver Rescue Mission and donate to us individually, mm -hmm. or your company likes to do that. We'd love to have those things. We will accept turkey donations at our Ministry Outreach Center, mm -hmm. at The Crossing, which is our transitional housing fa um, facility where um, our men and women in our programs live. And then we also have different places, starting on the 20th at Lawrence Street Community Center, we will, t we will be accepting turkeys. Okay. And then at, on November 23rd, we will have a donation truck available at the University of Colorado Health Science Center uh, training facility for the Denver Broncos. Wonderful, and in about 10 seconds, can you tell me, is there anything else that we can donate to the Denver Rescue Mission? Please donate all your non-perishable foods, canned goods, uh, uh, instant potatoes, instant stuffing, cranberry sauce, Anything lots, like that. Lots, lots, of, of that. lots of stuff. All right. Yeah. Do so me a favor. That needs some whipped cream. Absolutely. All right. I appreciate it. All right. By donating a turkey, you're helping to feed thousands of people this holiday season. Drop off frozen turkeys weighing 12 pounds or more at one of the drop off locations or simply text turkey to 24365. Details online at denverrescuemission.org slash turkey.